Hey guys, welcome to another fitness edition of Mr. Rachel's World. Today we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of full body workouts. It's gonna be high intensity. It's gonna be a lot of sweat. I'm gonna show you guys you don't need the treadmill or cardio to put some sweat in the gym. So let's get started with some stretches. Let's have some fun. <laughs> It's always important to get a good stretch in when you're going to do a great workout in the gym. Get your body loosened up and warmed up. Sometimes people who work out and they don't stretch, afterwards they're going to be stiff. They're not going to feel as good. So remember, always stretch. Ideally, you want to get about 10 to 15 minutes of stretching before your workout. I know sometimes it seems like you're going to like be stretching forever, but it's always good to get that good stretch in. So Try to really focus on that before and after you work out. Another thing that's important too when you're stretching is to use a foam roller to roll out. This helps out take out all the knots in your muscles and helps you loosen up more. So always try to incorporate the rolling in. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts like a bitch, but still, it helps you out a lot. You feel a lot better afterwards. So always remember to roll out before and after your workout. All right, so first on the list, we got some reverse lap pull downs and some pull ups. So when you do these, you really want to control the weight. Don't let the weight control you. Bring it all the way down and just don't forget to breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now we move on to a man's best friend in the gym, the bench press. This magnificent beast right here. We're gonna go for four sets of 12, and then afterwards, we're gonna come over here and hit some push-ups. and after the shoulder presses, we're gonna go right into some medicine balls. Any type of workout you do in the gym, there's two things you have to do. Control your breathing and tighten your core, because it helps you a lot. And it's gonna make your abs get more defined. Right now, I got a, I got flabbing, but stay tuned and you're gonna see what's gonna transform into. Anywhere we go, tell them anywhere we go. One, two, three, four. Everybody hands up and drop. Ladies, this is for you. I know you guys are gonna say, oh, you're not even doing no workout for the females. Well, this is for you, ladies. I know you guys wanna be squatting and getting your booties right, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Now, we're gonna do some squats, and after that, we're gonna go into some split jumps. For those of you who don't know what split jumps are, I'm gonna show you after I do my squats, so pay attention very closely. Now, when you squat, you wanna make sure you are as low as possible, but not to the point where you can't come back. Like my coach used to say, ass to the grass. Squat time, I don't. Squat time, I don't. 
squat hanga down, girl. Come back up, squat hanga down, squat hanga down, squat hanga down, girl. Well, let me see your love, squat hanga down, squat hanga down, squat hanga down, girl. Come back up, squat hanga down, squat hanga down, squat hanga down. Turbo time now, shake and a jiggle and a bubble and a dick, shake and a jiggle and a bubble and a dick, shake and a jiggle and a bubble and a dick, girl. What can you think? Report my party. Shake and a jiggle and a bubble and a dick, shake and a jiggle and a bubble and a dick, shake and a jiggle and a bubble and a dick. I know sometimes it's hard to actually go ass to the grass, so I'm gonna have this stool right here as a totem of how low we're supposed to get when we do our squats. I also increase the weight, so it's not gonna be easy. So I'm gonna decrease the reps by two. So right now I'm gonna shoot for eight reps. Yet. This is my specialty workout. I just thought of on the fly when I was in the gym one day. I call this around the world kettlebell deep squats. If you don't know what that is, let me show you. So right here, we have a weighted tire. In the middle, we have a kettlebell. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna high knees all the way around, as much steps as we can, hop on top, grab the kettlebell, deep squats for 12 reps. Then we're gonna get off and go back around the world. As much steps as you can. Let me hear you say Now show me on them. Let me hear you say Now show me on them. Everybody Hands in the air and touch 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 sums up the workout it was pretty good today and very informative I hope you guys find this very resourceful <sighs> now we're gonna move on to abs but that's gonna be in a separate video so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoyed man please like subscribe and share this video